Hi, today I want to talk again about sugar uh, in the journal Circulation, which is about heart health. Um, there was a huge study which showed that reducing by 20% sugar from packaged foods and 40% from beverages could prevent 2.48, that's two and a half million cardiovascular disease events including strokes, heart attacks, and cardiac arrests, and 490,000 cardiovascular deaths in the United States over the lifetime of the current adult population. And those are people who are aged 35 to 79. Um, so what they're recommending is that there be a voluntary national health program to encourage manufacturers to reduce the sugar in their products. And they say this would supplement, uh, a lot of uh, jurisdictions are now imposing sugar tax um, to discourage including too much sugar in the foods and um, labeling better the sugar additives because there are about 15 different names for sugar. Uh, so they can kind of spread it out when it might be the first ingredient uh, in the food and banning sugary drinks in schools. And so this would be a fourth way of encouraging um, with national policy, the reduction of sugar. Um, but the most important thing is that they've identified such a clear link. And this was funded by the National Institutes of Health. And it was based on a recommendation by the US National Salt and Sugar Initiative, which suggested a national policy to encourage food uh, product manufacturers to reduce their sugar content. And uh, the study was done by Massachusetts General Hospital, Tufts University, Harvard, and New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. And um, they say that within 10 years of implementing this policy, we could save over 4 billion in healthcare costs besides saving lives. And um, what they did was um, they took data from 2011 to 2016 in the National Health Nutrition Examination Survey, which has been relied on for decades and um, added the sugar-related diseases from various meta-analyses and figured out the policy and health-related costs. And so that's what they came up with, that in, in my lifetime, I'm 73, we could save 2 million cardiovascular events and half a million deaths. Um, just by having our food processors reduce the sugar a little bit, which means they might have to put in a few more real foods so it actually tastes good without a whole lot of added sugar. But that's their problem. We want to be healthy. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, it's really important that it's, sugar is not just about diabetes. It's about heart disease. It's about immunity. It's about arthritis. It's about gut health. It's about brain fog. Uh, we need to get the sugar out of our diets. Thanks. Randy Rolfe from the Institute for Creative Solutions.